Merry Meet YouTubers, this is Lady Grave Dancer, and I'm here to show you a oil, and this is an oil for aches and pains if you have arthritis or if you have um, carpal tunnel, or if you have any kind of little aches and pains, if you have previously broken any bones and um, they've healed and now the cold weather's coming on so you're starting to feel the pain and aches and stuff like that. This is a really good um, oil for that purpose. So, first you're going to need a jar, of course. Open that bad boy up like that and then you're going to be needing a st. John's wort okay and then you're going to need some chamomile you will be needing some white willow bark mm -hmm. and then you will need some lovely beautiful cinnamon sticks so oh and you will need some quartz crystals I have some little chips here that I'll be using and any kind of clear of the thinner oil. So if you don't have grapeseed oil, you can use sweet almond oil. You can use um, canola oil. You can also use vegetable oil. The reason I like the lighter color oils is because they absorb better into the skin and faster. So, so we are going to start by adding a palm of white willow bark. And this is not an intention um, oil. This is actually herbs that actually help for this purpose but as with anything when you're making it you want to add that intention that you want people to feel better so you got a palm of white willow bark you want a palm and a half of st. John's wort measures here but I'm going to be using this measure I'm going to use two of the one-fourths of a cup of chamomile because I can't get my hand in there <laughs> that's what I'm using so I'm pretty sure it's about a, um, a palm and a half but I am not the greatest with measurements okay and then we are going to be using two of these amazing cinnamon sticks. If you don't have cinnamon sticks, you can use cinnamon powder. And um, you can also add, which I'm not going to be adding in here today, but you can also add cayenne pepper. So, I'm going to be putting those two in there. And one quartz crystal. And I'm just using one. Oh, that one's too small. These are my smaller ones. I am going to be using this one. This one looks good. About yay big. Once you got all that in there, you can add that intention in there now. I'm going to add in the grapeseed oil. Recipe, I only recommend half the jar with the oil in it just so that it will be more potent. And then you add the lid and give it a good round of shake. And I need to get a marker. And you're going to want to write the date on there, okay? So. Good shake. Get it all in there. This you're going to have to let set for four weeks, shaking it every day. If possible, it's better to shake it twice a day. So I'm going to put the date on here and then also label what it is. So now that it's labeled, I know in a few weeks and shake it every, every day that this will be ready. Actually, I'm going to put the date on it when it'll be ready so that I know. There we go, because each of the things that I make kind of gets done differently. You don't want to keep this in, in a dark area. You don't want to put this in the light and shake it every day. And like I said, if possible, twice a day. And when that time is up, you'll go and you'll strain it, which I've showed how to strain them in other videos. So I'm not going to show it how to do it in this one because then I'll have to come back in a few weeks and show you and hold this video. And I'd like to go ahead and post this video. What you do is you'll strain all the herbs from it, and like I said, I've showed how to strain it in other videos. I'll link some in the description box. And then at that point, if you want to add any kind of scent to it, then you can do so. If you want to use an essential oil, I would recommend using um, like eucalyptus or some kind of minty oil. If you want just to use um, a regular scented oil, then you can use whatever you want to. So, And then it'll have a nice smell to it. This will smell good just because of the chamomile and cinnamon by itself but if you'd like to add a little something to it then that's what I recommend 
Um, I will probably be adding some eucalyptus to it when it's done, essential oil, and that's it. So if you have any questions, I will put the recipe in the description box. If you have any questions about this video, please don't hesitate to ask, and I will see you guys at the next one, and as always, blessed be. Isn't it beautiful?